Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop Kickstarter game every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how the Kickstarter project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the 21st most popular project on all of games right now. That is Captain's Log Board Game. I like how they put that. Sandbox Board Game. Like James Bond. Board Game. Sandbox Board Game. Theme. Pirates. Corsairs. And, okay, this is not... This gets me really, 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 really concerned. Because if you did this, this tells me that you did not look at the industry standard on how you do this, which is, this is, have you ever seen anyone do it like that? Like that maybe, maybe you go back to the very beginning of Kickstarter, perhaps, but this is, this is odd. Yeah, I can tell it's a pirate-themed board game already. You don't need to tell me. But I will say, I do like the fact that they have, let me zoom in a little bit here. I think I can make out the it's ages uh, 14 plus i think one to four maybe and 60 to 240 minutes to play that's what intrigued me the most going up to two hours i would like to see this zoomed in i imagine it looks like a much more pretty shot when we get to actually clicking on the kickstarter page and seeing it but right now it's it's very zoomed out it's hard to tell the details on any of this really uh, I do get a good sense of scope that I think it's a big board, but not completely sure. 100% fun in less than 48 hours. No one cares. Like, we see the bar. We understand how this bar works. The bar's full grain. You're funded. Uh, Spanish, French, Dutch, English. So you're mentioning all the different languages. I do like that. I think a price would be good here. Uh, some, some more useful information, I think, could be made there. And then funded in less than 48 hours. Now that we get to the big shot. Yeah, wow. Look at the detail. Oh, my God. I want to see this player board. This looks like complete customization here. I could not tell that in any way, shape, or form from that image that I saw at the front. I think you need to zoom in. Like, I know you're trying to give me, like, an epic sense of the scope of this board. Well, here's here's the thing. Do you have to? Just get rid of this crap. Move this, and then you would have this whole space right here where you could zoom in. Because if you can give me a feel for what's on these boards, like, that, that looks really impressive. Whereas, I couldn't even tell what it was from the outset. But it's already raised fifty-six thousand dollars, doing very, very well for itself with six hundred fifty-two backers. Uh, as always, when we go into the video, I'm thinking three things: Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Oh, and minis. There's minis. Cool. What else? Biff Games. Are you brave to travel to a time of pirates, corsairs, and great empires fighting for the dominance of the Caribbean Sea? Become the captain of a great fleet of ships willing to conquer the sea or become a bloodthirsty pirate in the greatest strategy board game. Cap Did you just call yourself the greatest strategy board game? Did you just do that? <laughs> That's a big claim. Tins Log, a sandbox wow. style board game where you and only you set the limit. What does that mean? Lots of plastic there. Lots of moving parts. Lots of moving pieces. Um, I I feel I'm feeling the Passion Project vibe, which I do like. I really want to check out the rules for this because a lot of times with Passion Projects, they have the worst rules because people are scared to blind play test their game. Uh, I'm not insinuating that's what this is going to be, but it's just I've seen a lot of games like that, and I. Uh, an adventure for one to four players with two to four hours of duration. Really? I thought it was one to four hours. I could have swore from your main image it was one to four hours. I, I, I could have swore I did that because I think I titled the, the name of this video having to do something uh, with that. I want to get, where's the community page? Yeah, we'll get there. That, ah, wrong thing. Two, that says one to four hours. Okay, so I'm confused, <laughs> slightly annoyed. Let's keep going. Live this incredible experience playing alone or with friends in a fast-paced battle in which you must play your best strategy. But beware, neither your... Just, just a heads up. You can't tell me it's a two to four hour game then immediately pivot and say it's a fast-paced battle. <laughs> Like, who win a, like, I love lengthy games. I have Twilight Imperium days a couple times a year. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all about the beef in the game. But, but don't tell me it's a fast-paced game after telling me it's a two- to four-hour game. 
Like, come on. <laughs> your friends nor the NPCs will make it easy for you. Ooh, NPCs. Choose your side and set sail for adventure. A board game with infinite combinations. A new map in each game. Uh, I gotta give them some shout out. They're doing some good stuff here with what they got. This is um, this is an odd angle to give me this though. Like, why? Why are we? Just tick that one. Um, and are these? I think these are all separate player boards. I don't know. At the back of the box okay i like i don't mind useful information in the back of the box uh, just including a learn how to play mode Ooh. an adventure in which you will have to face fearful corsairs make alliances and carry out your most vile betrayals sink ships solve missions and much more captain's log an adventure is waiting for you Um, as always, three things in the video. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Do I want it? Yes, I feel like you did a great job. I love the idea of a sandbox-style board game. You focused a lot on the components, a lot on the theme, which I guess is cool. Um, but yeah, I want it. Can you do it? I'm I'm a bit concerned. I, I'm not convinced, I should say. I'm not concerned. I'm just... I'm, well, I am. After seeing your description of your game, your little your blog, that does concern me a little bit. And then how much is it? Don't know. So can you do it? They got that part of it. Duke said, Hi, Bauer. I sent your Trekking Through History game campaign review to Nick in the campaign comments. They saw it and would like to consult you before launching their campaign. Good luck. Well, thank you so much, Duke. That's so cool to hear. That's, that's, that's neato. <laughs> Thanks, Duke. You rock. Uh, so first created, nine backed. And I had, I had a sneaking suspicion this might be a first created. Passion about boards created. We want our project to see the light of day. We are looking for a way to let everyone know about how exciting this world can be. Um, mm, not a big fan of that. Passion about board games. I would hope so. If you're launching a board game, I feel like that's a given. We want our project to see the light of day. Yes, this we, we know how Kickstarter works. We are working for a way to let everyone know how exciting this world can be. And there's that's where I'm concerned. When I hear, when I see that phrase, and then I hear you say, in the greatest strategy game, or whatever the hell that was, like, it's like, this gives me that vibe of, like, that that guy. And I'm sure there's some gals out there who've done this before, but honestly, I've only ever seen guys do it. Uh, sorry to be a sexist there, but I've only ever seen guys do this, who have that insanely, stupidly ambitious game that has just terrible rules and the rules just absolutely sink the entire ship and and they've only played maybe four or five six games a handful of games they're like oh i'm gonna reinvent the wheel here this is gonna be the greatest thing ever and typically they don't typically those projects don't sometimes they do sometimes they do but typically not um so i'm a bit concerned on the can you do it hopefully you can convince me a little bit more captain's log is a sandbox board game for one to four players ages 14 plus redundant like once again if this was if you put this on the marquee like i already know this and you'll compete against other players because of those famous captain of all i get this one to four players there we go you said two to four hours now we're back to one to four hours what's the deal with that hopefully we get some explanation on that eu friendly shipping once again that does not have anything to do with the vat i've learned my lesson that has nothing to do with the VAT, so hopefully they still give us the VAT information, but that's good stuff to spotlight right there. Uh, page in uh, Spanish, awesome. What's in the box? I'd love to see a price right here. 21 map tiles. I'd like to know the thickness of these. Are these double-sided? That'd be cool if they were. That'd be a potential stretch goal. I, I'd just like to see the size of these. Maybe give me a, a thought of the thickness. Uh, we have the so we have the, the you listing the minis here and you showcase the miniatures a lot, but I'd like to know the I'd like to know the dimensions of these. How tall are they? How wide are they? It looks like you have physical copies of this. You know, it's kind of odd to me that you're showing me a digital rendering when you have uh, the physicals. But whatevs. I imagine those physicals are probably pretty threaded, which is just amazing that we are living in that time. So we're getting 17 minis, 21 map tiles, four player boards, side A and side B. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. These player boards. Oh my gosh. That looks absolutely delightful. Like, that's the thing keeping me on board here. That looks fun. Uh, we got chit chits, 80 player tokens. Uh, four market boards cool oh those are the things that they had uh up against each other that weird camera angle one shipyard and tavern board this looks exciting i want to know how this works one scoreboard 
with lots of fun little doodads and knickknacks like that. One reputation board. Uh, hopefully, where you're about to show me that player reference card. Hopefully, you're about to show me a player reference card because if there's this much stuff going on, I'm going to need that player reference card. Hopefully, it's there. One reputation board because that's the other thing. I look at this player board and it looks really awesome. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I apologize. Lost my train of thought. Two rule books. Two rule books. Oh, because I imagine there's going to be the one rule booklet for the the beginner tutorial where it's just like, hey, you have asked, you hardy, learn to play this game in one hour or something. Uh, we got wooden tokens, 24 NPC bases. That's nice. That's really good. Uh, four ship delimiters. Don't know what that does, but cool. Uh, doubloons, 30 injury tokens. So they did. They do have the nice sexy scrolling shot here. I will give them kudos on this. I wish they would have put the price at the top of it. But this is good. This is rock solid. This is what I want zoomed in on the main image. 43 NPC cards, and it looks like there's a decent chunk of text on these. Like the graphic design. I gotta give them a shout out. Loving it. Like, look at this card right here. As a solo gamer, I see like, oh my gosh, there's a thing here, stuff here, there, this, that, thing, boom, bomb, organization. That's a really well-designed card. That is, I'm uh, getting back on board with this game. And that's why it's so important to do these long, sexy scrolling shots. Little details like this. Show me the back of the card. Show me the front of the card. This looks great. I actually, I'm working on a rule booklet just last week where I was like, yeah, I like when people do this. This is good. Like, it makes it so much easier, especially in the component list. Uh, because a lot of times they'll pull this from the component list if they're deeper in the rule booklet. My wife wants to know something. Do we want to go to Target tonight and get a present for Marvin? I get my hair cut at four and then I'll be home. Uh, do we want to? Sure, let's go. Uh, game modes. <laughs> Standard mode. Navigate. Choose your destination. Sail with... I don't think she's watching this because she doesn't watch my videos. Um, so you did the long scrolling shot of the components. It doesn't... It, like, it's great, but I still need to know the price. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Standard mode. Navigate. Choose your destination. Sail with or against the wind. So this is a race mode? Wait, what? Um. Explore. Oh, no, no, no. That's just something you do. Sail with or against the wind. Oh, cool. So there's a wind track on which way you're going. That's th There's lots of bells and whistles here. I didn't see a player reference card here, which immediately scares me. Can we get that as a stretch goal? Like, please, please, pretty please. Big, beefy, sh you know, maybe uh, make it th thematic or whatever if you want, but just a double side player reference. I'm sure that'd be fantastic. I don't think anyone would be like, no, I don't want that. Everybody wants that. Upgrade your ship and artillery, train your crew, get more cargo space, find a treasure, search for the hidden treasure, get the legendary reward, uh, forge alliances. Ooh, cool. So you can, so it uh, looks like maybe area control or something like that where you got to influence these people. I don't know exactly what it'd be, but it looks exciting. Trading, duration, adjustable time, decide how long the game lasts. You can make it last less than indicated. So I think that's what they're saying. It's not necessarily a 2 to 4. You can tweak it to be 1 to 4. Okay. Expert mode. Role play it. I think the it's supposed to be an E there. Or an L. I don't I don't spell role play well either, but I don't think it's just R O L. I don't know if it's L or E. Choose a famous pirate or admiral you want to incarcerate in the adventures. Board ships. Custom map. More board options. Looks hot. Upgrades. Look at that. Now I'm getting, uh, I see some thickness of some tokens there. That's nice. Stretch goals. Okay, so we do have stretch goals. I wish this was higher, along with the price. I still need to know the price. Game inspiration. Additional non-historic captain. Monkey guy. So they're going to add extra non-historical captains. What does that mean? So this would be much cooler if I understood who monkey guy was and like what this could potentially mean yo yo finally got a stream glad you could join light punch uh because like I I'm curious what who is monkey guy because if monkey guy is like from some comic or something like that then I'm like oh are we are we dipping into that world like is this Cthulhu or how like it could potentially let me know a little bit more information about these stretch goals that would get me excited so a Kickstarter exclusive unlocked so this is a sea snake with a card that's exciting I mean, that's just exciting. And I like how they did this. They don't know the stats yet, so they covered them up, which is fine with me. I still get the gist. 45,000. I got, uh, oh, tw so they they got a little cute here by just putting the 22, but I understood they put in one extra tile. But words would be good here as well. One extra blah, blah, blah tile. Especially if I knew the size of those tiles. Uh, 50,000. Another tile. 60,000. What is it? Oh my gosh. Is this a dual? Is this going to be... Oh, is that an inlaid board? I think that's inlaid board. 
Oh, that's exciting. That's an exciting stretch goal area. And honestly, I would bump this higher because you are funded, which means now your goal is no longer to get kickstarted. It is to make this game as good as you possibly can. Upgrade the components. Make this a game that people love. And so when you come back with that second edition, this is a $500,000 Kickstarter because everybody's like, oh yeah, that was that one where it's got great reviews from this person and that person. And you spotlight the, those reviews, assuming this is a fantastic game. That being said, I have not seen a rule booklet. I have not seen a gameplay video. And I have not seen a how to play video, which are three things that me personally get me very concerned about this game. Uh, rules beta. Cool. Th there you go. You took care of one of them. This is beta version and still work to be done. Excellent. How to play. Here we go. Review and playthrough. So that is a full playthrough. Awesome. Excellent. That's what I want. Uh, presentation. Something. Something. How to play is the only thing that really is going to move the needle for me. Not there. Which isn't a deal breaker. But uh, a full gameplay. That's awesome. So like seeing that. Check out the beta rules. Short, how do I look? At, what do I, what do I do? What, what is, what, how do I use this? English. Oh, I click on English. And then I click on English again. No, can't click on English again. This is uh, this is not a pleasant experience here. <laughs> how, what do I click on? Am I missing something? In the coming weeks, items in this... Okay, so no, that's name. Uh, open? Open with? Connect more... Okay, so no, could we get a link that's like, or, or just, uh, I, like, hey, click on here, then click here, show a picture, or something, because I, like, that's, that annoys me more than anything. I've never really had this issue before. I swear I haven't had this issue where I click on it, and I can't even figure it out, like, how to get to it. All right, so I click on it. Here we go. Second time around. There's two folders. I'm going to go to the English folder, because I speak English. Double click English. Double click it. Oh, the double click. Yeah. That's why I love the chat. A free ship mascot was a monkey and it escaped from the ship dressed as a sailor in the 1800s. It was hung as a spy in England. Oh, <laughs> that sounds great. That actually sounds like fun. Uh, okay, so we got the full mode, the basic mode. Let's check out the full mode. Double click because I swear. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible. I'm a 36-year-old man now. And I remember being in like 5th or 6th grade like learning how to double click. And I was just like, I can't get in. Why would I only got to double click? Sorry, Mr. Jensen. Uh, so, these are very rough rules. Hopefully they get this spiced up with pictures, illustrations, examples, component, and setup, please, first. Uh, objectives. Phase 1. Phase 2. Uh, this is it. Wait, this isn't it. This is the beta version of the rules. This is it? Oh, no! That can't be it. <laughs> like, that can't be it. Like, that's, that's not allowed. I gotta sh Like, no. I need more. This one's gonna be full. For Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> this is why I'm so glad I clicked on this one. This looks fantastic. This looks like a much better rule booklet. Okay. We got the full component list with pictures, then a nice setup, numbered setup. Mm, love those numbered setups. Tell me, tell me a single person who hates the numbered setup. I will tell you that number is zero, and then you will say, I should have a numbered setup in my rule booklet with a nice picture because it makes everything so clean and clear and crisp and pop and easy to set up and get me excited about learning how the movement works. And this looks like an absolutely gorgeous rule booklet. I was 100% wrong. This is absolutely like look at the pictures the illustrations the examples the number just magnificent hats off to whoever did this rule booklet this looks like a rule booklet that i actually want to read because it's like it's lengthy it's lengthy but those pictures and then look at that back the basic player actions iconography so they're using this in lieu of the player reference card that's cool i still like to have both but this is fantastic this is not the beta here. Yeah, that is, woo, that is some good looking rules there. Okay, that concern knocked out of the park. Um, that's that's definitely gonna play hefty in the can you do it right there. That was a that was a fun ride of a rule booklet, and that's why you show off your rule booklet. I love that. Okay, so here, here we go. We finally get to the prices. I think now we're in videos. What the hell? Where's the prices? Tabletop simulator. Uh, the standard mode. Oh, cool. 
I really want there to be a stretch goal for a deluxe book with fun paper and tattered edges. Oh, making it thematic? That's that's the kind of thing that people remember, man. That's the kind of thing that people remember, like little details like that in your rule book that can go a long way. Expert mode. Social goals. So 250 followers and we get an extra tile. Kind of blends into the background. That's awesome. Make this clickable. Make every single one of those clickable so that I could click right now. Facebook, like, done. Instagram, like, well, I probably have to log into that one. BGG, like, this should be clickable. Uh, I would click on the BGG right now and get you one step closer. Uh, cards. So we get an extra card. Excellent. Facebook, Instagram. So, oh, so there is clickable here. It's clickable here. Add-ons. Yeah, I said I'd do it. I said I'd do it. I got, what do I, I got to like or something? I got to heart it. I got to like it. I'm not subscribing. There, I'm not going to rank it either. There, I think I did something, right? There you go, I helped you. All right, add-ons. Cargo tower. Ooh, so it's a thematic dice tower, 12, 12 euros. Convert the currencies for me as well because majority of people here are probably from the United States of America. Yeah, wow, big up, big one in Spain, France. It's actually, that is not too bad. That is pretty dang evenly dis uh, distributed right there, which makes me worry a little bit about the shipping section, but that's, that's solid. All right, so, uh, but still, I would convert the currencies because it's still most of the people, or at least the largest chunk of people are from the United States of America. Uh, so you tell me the price of the, ah, that's, that's super annoying. Like you knew you needed to tell me the price of the add-ons, but why not tell me the price of the pledges as well? And I know, I know, because you're like, well, they're over here, Bauer. Well, but it's like, it's just so much easier in your story. It's so much more simple in your story. Just put it there. And, and this one, like, Industry standard, there's a reason that that's, that's a thing. Shipping, it's just, it's it's just, it's your fun. It's your fun little area. You go on a ride. Every Kickstarter is a different journey, and you want that journey to be fun. That's how you build brand loyalty. That's how you get the money. Uh, below, you'll find the estimated shipping fee. Shipping costs are subject to change due to fluctuations of worldwide shipping. When these productions have been finished, you'll receive an email to verify. I just want to hear the words VAT. In some cases, we cannot guarantee duty-free shipping. There may or oh, may be additional duties, so you're going to get jacked by the fee. I think they're saying duty-free as in VAT. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to get jacked by the VAT. Spain, Portugal. Ooh, they did convert the currency here. Top-notch. Top-notch. Very polite golf clap. Uh, like that. We understand there's no duties. Get bet Brexit. Don't see that often. VAT will be calculated on the pledge manager that occurred to the VAT varies between 17 to 17%. Uh, click here to the VAT for each country. That's okay. All right. I'm not against that. Wow. Look at that. So they even have this... So you had this piece of information and you thought to yourself, should I put it? Should I not put it? The answer was yes, you should put it. Uh, and, and the reason why I know that is because they made it transparent. But then they decided it's really long. It takes up a huge chunk. But the bottom line is, think about it like this. As much as I hate the shipping being at the bottom, you put the shipping at the bottom. Nobody's going past this point and really giving a damn about anything you're saying. Like, let's be honest. Once you got the do I want it, the can you do it, the how much is it, you heard of the stretch goals, you heard of the daily unlocks, you heard of the social stretch goals, all that sort of stuff. Are you really looking at the bottom part of Kickstarter? No. So I think putting this here would have been great because then you could just scroll down. And th I think this is just a little bit more world friendly here. Vor.red. Uh, I wouldn't click on that if that's a link. But, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Please know, but thanks for popping in and tickling my, my YouTube algorithm, bot. Be aware that we'll be able to fill the pledge prototype images. Okay, looks good. Stuff. Capt oh, wow. Uh, so what is this? You actually do have some interesting stuff down here. Uh, who are we? But for the most part, yeah, risk of challenges, who are we? This sort of stuff. Like, nobody's, nobody cares. Oh, dear, you, did you mention the... Your manufacturer? Ludofact? You did! Okay, so this, I think, is buried here. Uh, because Ludofact is a name, especially if you say, hey, we're doing this through Ludofact. I think that would go a long way, and that's something that I'd uh, recommend mentioning as well. Somewhere up there. Maybe even with, like, a smattering of what they do, if you really want to. Because I don't think Ludofact is quite up there with, like, Panda GM and Ad Magic and stuff like that. But they're still on the come-up. Hey, would you mind doing one of these for Rogue Angels? I made a bunch of mistakes with the Kickstarter page, but as a playtester, I know how great the game was back then. I will see if I can get to that one. All right, so let's check out the pledge levels and finally get to the price because they didn't tell us the price anywhere in the story. So one euro, people sitting on the fence, 50. All right, one copy, eight, so $92. Okay, so we're going very premium price here. 
Get all the contents for the captain's log and all included stretch. Uh, assuming the word goal should be there. Uh, all applicable rewards. So now what am I looking at grand total uh, price-wise? We're looking at 14 to $18. Okay. So I'm looking at a $110 game, presumably. That's a bit much. That's a, that's a big ask right there. So let's go back and look at the, and see if I'm getting the $110 price point here. So I, I don't have a firm grasp on the box at all. Hopefully Dan has the box. Moving there. Show me the box, Dan. Left and right. Or nope, no box. Um, They have a box? Is that a box? Is that a box? Box me? Anybody with a box? No, the box. That's not the box. That's like massive. It's like as giant as his body. I don't think that's the box. Okay. And that's why I always feel like it's really good to give your, your people a firm concept of the box. Because now you're telling me that this is, this is going to be a big box. Yeah, I'm from the UK, and I know that I'll be paying 20% VAT on anything not from the UK. Yeah, that is, that is rough. Oh, my. All right. So, um... What am I, so did they show the box when they went in the long sexy scrolling spot not really like maybe is that this is i i just wish i knew a little bit more of the box because i'm i'm 110 dollars so i'm getting 21 map tiles once again are these how big are these i don't know because you didn't put inches on them if i find out that these are like four to six inches wide i say wow this is gonna be a huge honking table table spacer uh and i'm much more in the 110 dollar price point you know, 17 minis, I hate to say it, I hate I hate to be that guy, but you know, Simon's kind of screwed it for you there. 17 minis on a $110 game, like that's that's a hard sell, which sucks. It does. Um, so then we're getting the cards, 56. See, I'm seeing some really generic components here, like sticker chits, some generic looks like pop-out card. Like this is a lot of cardboard, and those are a lot of like, Ooh. and then i'm not seeing many cards here like the 110 ten dollar price point i'm not seeing it like that is a really big ass for the game that i think has been presented here like you are presenting a two to four hour epic c sandbox game don't get me wrong but i'm still not getting that vibe like the game that kind of pops into my mind right now i think comparable is Say like a Western Legends or a Zaya Legends of a Drift system. Another big sandbox style game. And I think about the amount of components in that game and what it used to, what it costs pretty much. I know shipping has gone up, inflation, so, so stuff like that. But I just, I don't see as much replayability and variability and crazy stuff is going to happen in this game with the amount of cards that I'm getting here. 13 treasure cards, 31, ca like... I don't know, and maybe we're going to have a whole bunch more as we hit stretch goals, but 110, like, even without the shipping, if we're just going, say, $92, like, this is a hell, I don't see a $92 game here either. And that, you know, meanwhile, Simon with 100 of the dot minis just as stretch goals and daily unlocks, I mean, it's, it's nearly impossible to compete, but at the same time, even taking that out of consideration, $92 for this game still seems like a lot. So, um, mm, that was a bit of a sour one. Let's go to the FAQ, the updates, comments. Let's get out of here. FAQs, hate this. Can we organize it? Let's all do it. Organize, like, reload from Colossal Games, like Yucatan most recently did. And just because if my question is number, you know, say, 11, I have to scroll through the first 10 to get to it. Break this up by shipping and by add-ons and all this. All the, what is the game dimension? Yes, what are the sizes? The size of the box you're millimetering me despite the fact the largest chunk of people and isn't it centimeters don't don't people use centimeters okay what's 100 millimeters two inches <laughs> that's three point oh so it's a thick it's a thick box oh this is a thick box that's a thick box right there uh okay okay was that uh so 295 oh my gosh 295 that's an 11 inch thick box yeah there's because because ticket to ride is not three and a half inches i don't think uh okay that changes my thoughts a little bit but at the same time i had to go to question number seven of the faq 
It should be something that's presented to me much better, I do believe. Or the size of the card. Uh, I feel like this would be the same with City of Great Machine. Get canceled and relaunch later with a much more approachable price. Certainly would love to... The, uh, yeah, I agree. Well, it's it's funded, though. There's the thing. It's funded. They got they got it themselves a thousand print run guaranteed. They probably could, they could easily probably afford 50. I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know the size of the box and everything, so I shouldn't speculate. But I'm guaranteeing they're probably at least going to get a thousand print run there. Because uh, once you get to a thousand fifteen hundred, it also opens you up to other manufacturers, and if you open it up to other manufacturers, maybe you can go get cheaper prices. Uh, or maybe I don't know. I, I don't know. I shouldn't speculate because maybe maybe they got some. You never know. Because some people are like I got fifty thousand dollars already. And I'm using this just as a marketing platform. We're actually going to be printing three thousand copies or five thousand copies. And I've heard of all those sort of things. So, uh, but anyway, February third. Uh, so we got two updates, and it did launch. It launched on February 1st. It launched the same day as another pirate-themed game as well, which, you know, hey, hate to use a pirate theme, but that tends to take a little bit of the wind out of your sails because that other pirate-themed game, um, I think, presented their product in a much better way. All right, uh, you did it. Thanks for your support. You had made this project go ahead. All the merit is yours, and for our part, we cannot be more grateful. From this experience, which has only just begun, the most important thing for us has been that during the process, we have felt accompanied, supported, and loved. We are having the opportunity to meet people who altruistically have given us a lot. We hope that this game will transmit the effort, love, and dedication that we have given and will continue to give. <laughs> Thanks to our little project, we'll see the light. Sincerely, you have left us speechless, and those who know we know that this is very difficult as a token of gratitude all of our sponsors will have an exclusive reward the miniature of the serpent with respective game card so this was like a special unlock surprise okay um i'm going back to this main image here i do love the fact i think you did i, I think these are good i think this is solid but i think we zoom in here i think uh it, especially considering yeah this box is I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. There's just a lot of little things about me that just turn me off about this, but it still, it looks like a really stinking cool game. Because once again, this is not a review of the game itself. Obviously, I've not played this game. This is a review of how the Kickstarter presents the game. And I don't know if everyone's going to give it the same time, love, and attention to find out that this is a really awesome game, or what looks to be a really awesome game. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, monkey guy Threepwood pushed me over the edge to back this game. Daniel knows what that means. I don't. Maybe if you would have told me a little bit, I'd been like, oh, that sounds really cool. And I would have been more likely to back it. Uh, but I do see them in here churning this. This is solid. I'd recommend asking a question in your next update to get a, a little bit more engagement. Uh, and because this one, 21 and only two comments. That means that next to no one engaged, it was probably someone just saying you're awesome. Very, very nice voiceover. My other games are keenly into... Yeah, and then you uh, you just stoke in that fire. Ask any question, and you're going to get more response. We hope you enjoy it. Are you brave? Are you and only you. Why are you showing me... Uh, thank you for the trusting... We have already reached 7% of funding. We have updated the presentation video with your English voiceover. We apologize for not having it before. Oh! Was it in Spanish on day one? Was it just not voiced over on day one? <laughs> I, now I have questions I want answered. Once again, though, that's one of those things where it's like, you you think you might delay a day or two, you know, maybe. But, I mean, they had 50, they're up to $60,000, so whatevs. Uh, so, looks great. I'm reading the Learn to Play Guide. I think I've spotted an error in the movement example. Option one, blah, blah, blah. It does not give confusion. It is wrong. You're absolutely right. It should be on the right. Thank you very much for notifying. And this is awesome. This is little things like that. And that's why you show your beta rule booklets because you can get feedback and fix your rule booklets for the overwhelming majority of people who are going to see a rule booklet after the game is published. It could look like hot garbage before the game is published as long as you get everything out of it and get all the fix. Why never with the Italian translations? How many text on cards and whatever else? Please. The reason we for translations is they're expensive, especially those who are very small. Uh, normally, but the, the thing that I see here is some great customer service here. This does make me feel really good about the customer service, which is what I was most concerned about, or, well, something that I was concerned about when I go to this section. So, final grade on this one. Now, as always, let me know your final grade as well, because I'm always really curious. Do I want it? Yes. I feel like the video did a good job with that. Um, yeah, I did. I, I love, I love pirate-themed Sandbox games, I like the pirate theme. I love sandbox style games. I love meaty games. So honestly, I am the target market for this game, and I feel like they did a good job targeting the, their market. 
Well, at the same time, I think maybe not alienating the, uh, the rest of the market either. So I feel like it was a well-done video. Can you do it? That one, I was super concerned about. You turned me around with that rule booklet. You turned me around with that awesome customer service. You turned me around that you mentioned your manufacturer. Granted, it was all the way buried down at the bottom. There was a lot of little things that make me feel comfortable with, yeah, the game's going to come out. I feel comfortable with that. How much is it? That's the biggest issue here. That's the sticky widget. I feel like the price is just terrible. I really, I, I mean, I hate to say that, but I feel like this is a terrible price. Once again, I, ugh, like, and it's, it's partially because of the list of components. It's partially just thinking about, all right, I'm going to spend $110 on this. What could I buy for $110 right now in the board game world? Like, you could buy a lot. You could buy four, like, discounted, older, big box games, essentially, from, like, Miniature Market or something like that. If not more, if you catch a deal. And that's, and that's unfortunately, just the reality we live in. Which means you have to present to me that I either have to have this game, I can't not miss out on this epic, you know, pirate theme game. Or, you know, wow me with value or something like that. And I just wasn't. Like, I wasn't wowed with the number of cards. And that's a double-edged sword. I wasn't wowed price-wise by the amount of cards in the game. But I also wasn't wowed, like, variety. You know what I mean? Like, when you see a game, it's like, we got 700 cards. I'm like, oh my god, I could play that game every day and never have the same game. Whereas with this, I was like, okay, 22 event cards. Um, And, and, and if this were a $70 game, I wouldn't be nitpicking it so hard. But it's not. It's a 90 two dollar game and at the end of the day i think that how much is it kind of sinks this game a little bit for me so final grade is a b i think it's a b i, th I still think it's solid i mean it has everything i need to know it has the shipping it has the prices eventually i just i feel like it could have i think it could have been presented a little bit better especially by the size of that box Put that box next to something else I associate with right from the beginning, and I get the impression, oh, this is huge. Maybe let me know the size of those tiles. You know, how big are those tiles? How long are those tiles? 21 of these tiles. That's going to take up a huge chunk of... Like, I just feel like there's a lot of little things that could have been done. But overall, I still think it's a solid project, and it looks like a really cool game. Uh, that's Captain's Log. Let me know your comments in the comments down below, because that's generally how comments work. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.